With the offense trying to regain its footing, tight end Gerald Everett is ready to get more involved. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. Over the past few weeks, we've seen tight end Gerald Everett get more involved in the passing game. In the last two games, he's been targeted 12 times. He's caught 11 of those passes for an even 100 yards. That includes eight catches against the Green Bay Packers, which tied his career high. I mean, Gerald's been exceptional. Every time he touches the football, it's something great. You know, he's he's uh, he's really spectacular. He's hard to tackle. He knows how to get you know get first downs, make plays. And I credit a lot of that to Russ and to uh, Pete and to Shane and everybody else on offense, you know, everybody's holding each other to a high standard and, you know, the transition part for me coming from the Rams here is pretty much over and it just took a little minute for me to understand how things go really in the VMAC and I think I've gotten past that transition so now it's just more about, you know, being a, well, becoming a pivotal role for the Seahawks and being the best player that I can be. While Everett and the tight end group as a whole has been limited in their role in the passing game, the South Alabama product has been making the most of his opportunities. Through the eight games he started, he's been targeted 29 times and caught 25 of those passes to equal the best catch percentage of his career. It's been more obvious, you know, you, you see how physical he is and what an aggressive runner he is with the ball after the catch. And uh, he continues to, I mean, he's, he's really a factor. And so it just, you know, screams that we got to keep going to him. That's why, you know, I, I came back to that thought after this game again. Uh, he, he's just really obvious with the ball in his hands that he, he can make things happen. He's got a great attitude about carrying the football. Another area where Everett shines is yards after catch. We've seen several times over the past few games just how difficult he is to bring down. I think every time he touches the ball, it's just fun to watch. You know, it's, it's rare, like you said, it's rare that that first guy, you know, ever brings him down. You know, he had a couple of those opportunities this past week where, you know, he's breaking that first, maybe the second, maybe the third. He had a, ch a chance last year in the same same scenario uh, against, actually, against Washington when we were in L.A. and, and where he catches the ball on a, on a little short pass to the right. And next thing you know, it takes four more guys to bring him down. So, you know, he, he runs so violently, so hard, and he's got that determination to, to get the first down. And, you know, at the same time, you know, you get a little worried sometimes with the ball, but he does such a great job keeping that ball high and tight when he is in those scenarios. Like we said, it's just a great opportunity to get the ball in his hands and, and let him see what he can do. Well, I mean, growing up, um, you know, my friends and I used to play uh, football in my backyard. Just guys in the neighborhood would just all come together and, you know, just play throw them up. We was a game called throw them up, bust them up. And, you know, you don't go down until you're tackled. So I guess that just kind of translated through the years of playing football and becoming stronger and faster and bigger. And in college, you know, I made a couple highlights. Uh, and breaking tackles and that just kind of became one of my main staples and and even in coming to the league and just trying to be able to transition that over from college has definitely been a key element of my game and you know each year it seems like I've gotten better and better with that so yeah I definitely think that that's been a, something that I've prided myself on. Well you can watch Gerald Everett and the rest of the Seahawks take on the Washington football team this Monday on Monday Night Football kickoff is set for 5 15 p.m. and you can watch it live on ESPN.